Time to correct them. So you don't like gnomes, huh? What about that one? <laughs> that one I like a lot. BMO. At Farmer Boys, we're barbecue salsa, onion straw chopping, and grilling burgers and chicken made fresh for you. Try our barbecue favorites all summer long. Farmer Boys, farm food ain't fast food. He's gone back to back. He's a little short, but this next one's going to be number seven, and that ball is bombarded through the Arlington night. The roof Ooh. closed, and Hernandez is trying to break it open. And Teoscar Hernandez is the first Dodger Derby champion. All right. Well, it's hard to overlook Teoscar Hernandez's impact this season after signing a one-year $23.5 million deal to join the boys in blue. The home run derby champ was asked if he got any tips from Shohei Otani before tonight's event. He said uh, to hit the ball to left center, to not pull it, uh, because I had a better chance uh, because the way my swing is uh, to go over there. It's far, but he said it's better for you. All right, well, Steve Ballmer went all out with the Clippers' new home into a dome. And you can tell the difference before you even enter the arena where the team decided to showcase a special collection of artwork. I was there for the unveiling last week. Ahead of Intuit Dome's grand opening in August, the LA Clippers held a special unveiling of the new Inglewood Arena's public outdoor artworks, commissioned specifically for Intuit Dome by a collection of local artists. These venues do have impact on the community and we wanted to make sure that we were giving back. So we really wanted that plaza to be an urban oasis, a place where people could come and it could be a gathering place. And we were convinced that having the right kind of public art that's really accessible and that people would travel across the globe to come see would be the kind of thing that could bring people together. Have you seen this before where a team is so invested in engaging with the art community when it's a sports and music venue? It's starting to happen because you're reaching people who don't go to museums, who don't go to galleries, and who may not be interested in art. Murals, digital installations, and sculptures like Glen Cano's sales have helped transform the area to celebrate the local community and the power of creative spirit. And tell me what went into this piece. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Well, the piece was inspired by the ability of basketball to connect people around the world. But when I got the phone call uh, uh, to do this project, you know, I immediately thought about ba basketball being the, the cultural wins behind the sails because Clippers, Clipper ship, you know, and the speed of them. Every time I've been able to travel around the world, I, I end up in a basketball court somewhere, and I, and I notice that the backboards have all look different. The red one over there is from a, a barn in Oregon that we saw a photo of. Um, and there's other ones I took photos of around the world. And so, yeah, they're, they're from all around the world. You can look at these pieces of art and just appreciate them for their beauty and, and their magnitude. But then when you learn about the meaning behind it, it just gives it such more depth. It's so impressive. Yeah, I think that's the incredible thing about art is that it has so many layers to it that you look at it at first and you see something and you think, oh, that delights me. And then as you look at it a little bit more, it reveals more. Um, we decided to put tap codes next to all of